Okay, so we're going to make a graph in Excel. Um, as you can see, we've got all the years here, and we've got the data here. Um, you can input this yourself. It's pretty easy to cut and paste in, uh, or you can put it in uh, manually if, if you're not patient. Um, I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, you, you can cut and paste it pretty easily. So um, what you want to do is you want to select the variables you want to graph. So let's say you want to graph from here to here. So you just you just simply select them like that. And then you press Alt and F1 together. That's Alt and F1. Uh, and when you press Alt and F1, the graph comes up. So that's the basic graph. I mean, that's everything graphed along here. But as we can see, there's a few problems with this. First of all, we probably don't want a bar uh, chart. So we want to change that. We also want to change uh, these uh, arbitrary numbers, well, sequential numbers, to the years here. Uh, and we probably want to name the series. So we'll change it from a bar chart first. So you click on it, left click, go to change chart type, and here's all your chart types. Now you, you can experiment with these, but generally speaking for straightforward economic data, we generally want a line graph. So we'll pick that, and we'll click OK. And there's the line graph. Very familiar line graph, you'll, you'll just line graph, really. you'll see these on most uh, economic sites and stuff like that. So now you want to change uh, these um, sequential numbers to the years we have here. So again, it's not too difficult. We just left click. We go to select data. Now, this is all the stuff on the horizontal axis. That's the numbers down here. So we want to change these to years. So what we do is we click edit, and now it's act asking for an axis label range. So we just select the years, and as you can see, they're coming up there. And we've selected them all now, and there they are. They've appeared there. You select OK, um, and then we might want to change the uh, series name. So just there's the series name. You click Edit. We'll call that GDP. It's not actually GDP, but we'll pretend it is for the moment. And then you click OK. And so there's your basic line graph. Um, it's as simple as that, really. Uh, you can go to chart layouts up here. So you can get, for example, if you click on the first one, now you'll get a, an axis title there. And you can click on that. Whoops. You can click on that and input stuff in there. Um, not gibberish, it would be percent or something like that. I think that's absolute numbers, so per year. Anyway, you, you, can, you can play around with that yourself. Uh, there's loads of different chart layouts up there. You can play with them. There's different colors for the, for the graph there. And when you're working with more than one variable, this comes in handy. But I mean, what I've just done there is, is, is basically how you do it, and the rest of it is pretty simple to figure out. So, uh, I hope that helps. And, uh, oh, and, um, sorry, I'm putting this onto your blog. Uh, you can left click on that and you can go to copy, and you can pretty much paste that anywhere. So, what I generally do is paste it into a bitmap image, save it as a JPEG, and then import that if you want to use it in the blog. But, you, you basically, once you've copied this, you can paste it pretty much anywhere in, in any of the Microsoft Works programs. So, um, yeah, uh, enjoy.